traverse table traverse table a table provided in the nordis table they are designed mainly for solving plane sailing and parallel sailing without major calculations for plane sailing the tables are tabulated from right angle triangle and they cover a distance of up to 600 miles 600 miles is a limit for plane sailing in nordis table traverse tables are named 0 degree to 45 degree at the top of the page and 45 degree to 90 degree at the bottom of the pages these figures 0 degree to 45 degree and 45 degree to 90 degree in plane sailing they represent as courses in parallel sailing they represent as latitudes plane sailing using traverse table the figures of degrees are the courses expressed in appropriate quadrants as cardinal compass that is it means that on the table at the top you will be having something in degrees for example 35 degrees in plane sailing it will be called as the courses while in parallel sailing it will be known as the latitude right now we are doing plane sailing for example table named 35 degree is for the course north 35 degree east or 35 degree true and when you are having a course of 145 degrees true in a quadrant it will be south 35 degree east when you are having a course of 215 degree true in a quadrant it will be south 35 degree west and when you are having a notation of 3 to 5 degree true in a quadrant it will be north 35 degree west three figure notation 0 to 360 degree also indicated on the table easterly courses are placed on the right of the table westerly courses are placed on the left of the table here we can see the quadrants north east south east south west north west north east is the first quadrant south east is the second quadrant south west is the third and north west is the fourth quadrant and you can see i have already indicated the direction for easy conversion from three figure notations to quadrantal notations Here we are having some courses in three figure notations 075 125 245 330 Now I am going to convert these courses into quadrantal courses I am going to put these three figure notations into quadrants So now let's start with the first one is 075 So 075 will be in the north east quadrant so we will be writing here as the 
first first quadrant and when we are writing the quadrant in continental form it will be north 75 degrees east now next is 1 2 5 1 2 5 it will be in the second quadrant okay so to convert that what we have to do is that you can see the arrow indication provided from south to the east so you just have to subtract it from 180 so it will be done like this one eighty minus one two five okay so it will result in fifty five okay now the direction this is from south to the east so it will be south east so this comes in the second quadrant Now, the next one is the third quadrant, 245. 245, three-figure notation goes, comes in the third quadrant. So, for this, we have to first see the direction, south to the west. Okay, so 180, we will be adding 180 to 245, because it is, it is from south to the west. So, 2, 4, 5, it will be, this one we are doing here, 2, 4, 5, plus 1, 80, 5, 12, 4, 25. Now, you can see that it has gone about 360. So, just subtracted from 360. And you will get the answer as 5 and 6, 65 degrees. So now it will be, you know the direction is southwest, so it will be south 65 degrees to the west. Okay, so that comes in third quadrant. Okay, I'll just erase the working because I don't want to confuse. South 55 East and South it was uh, 65 West. Okay. Now the last one, it is 330. So now we know that 330 is in the fourth quadrant. Okay, so now we know so 330 in the fourth quadrant and now we check the direction. It's from north to the west. So we are going to subtract 330 from 360. So 360 minus 330. That will give you 0. This will be 3. This will be 0. Okay, so it will be north 30 to the west and this will be here the fourth quadrant now we have converted the three figure notations into quadrantal form you can do the same thing in the reverse from quadrantal form you can convert, convert it into a three figure notation it will be just the opposite way okay that's it thank you okay now when you open the Nordic table and go to the travels table section okay you can see there will be headings like this distance delat departure okay 
these are the expansion distance this is distance d light is difference of latitude depth is departure okay i know everyone will be familiar by now so now this is the most important thing consider this as the table okay in your nodis table okay if your courses is between 0 degree to 45 degrees in plain sailing if your courses are between 0 degree to 45 degrees okay you have to use the values from the top of the table okay you have to use it from the top of the table if your courses are between 0 degrees to 45 degrees now if it is more than 45 degrees then when your courses are between 45 to 90 degrees you have to use the values from the bottom that means you have to start from here to there okay there is a major difference here that is here the quantities of delat and departure are reversed okay it's the heading is provided in the bottom you have to just follow it okay you cannot just go and use the values which are on the top first thing that you have to check is the course if your course is between 0 degree to 45 degrees use the values from the top of the page if it is from 45 to 90 use it from the bottom procedure to find dlat and departure from given course and distance the first step that we have to do is you have to change course to quadrantal notation and second step locate the table that has the whole number of degrees of the course then third in the column headed distance locate the value of given distance that is the distance given in the question you have to use that distance and check under the column and against that distance you have to extract dlat and departure values 